All right, so you can see I have our ESD gun out. I've yet to damage a meter with this gun. Prior to building this gun, I was just using the small grill starter. The problem with testing the meters this way is the energy coming off of this wasn't all that great. It was nowhere near what the IEC standard called for. Of course, I've damaged a lot of meters with this, some of them quite repeatedly. Uh, many of those were Unity products. But I've also managed to damage some of these Harbor Freight meters. So this is the meter that I had cycle tested. So what I've done is I've filled in some of the vias where the rotary switch was damaged. And this meter is actually functional now. So what I'm going to do is attempt to use this gun to ESD test this meter and see if we can damage it. And we can see right there, it looks like it's already damaged. And let's just try some of the other modes of this meter. So, this will be 5 volt, and you can see it's displaying 1.2. So it looks like we've damaged the DC input. Let's just try the AC. So this should be 2.5. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Diode check mode, of course, this thing is uh, reading a short right now. So again, uh, this will be with a short. You can see it's obviously picking that up. You can see in 200K it's reading 9.1K with an open. So let's just try a 1K ohm resistor. You can see it reads a dead short. So yeah, just a few pulses off of this new gun has damaged this meter. I'm not too surprised again. Uh, basically the reason that I haven't damaged any meters with this yet is because I'm not testing this caliber of meter anymore. We've actually been looking at a better class of meter. I've been working on a new review, but I'm trying to get some other things in place before I finish that up. I hope to have that up in the next week or so. So I hope you enjoyed seeing our new gun actually take out its first meter. Till the next test, later on.